So Craig is a new customer getting his car up to us for the very first time. He's worked hard to get his Lamborghini and he was ready to beef it up with a wrap, body kit, wheels and exhaust. While his car was with us, he secretly phoned me to spend another £100,000 on a fully loaded Urban Defender to surprise his pregnant fiance. <laughs> Although, when it came to payment, we almost had an issue. He had an outstanding balance, which was around 30 odd grand, and it was fraud. Craig shares the importance of having a good partner in life and in business. If Laura weren't in the company, the company would have issues. Yes, sweet. And he also tells me how COVID made him a millionaire. I ain't come from money. We went from doing £60,000 to £7.9 million. Ooh. Craig has just had two incredible cars, both wrapped. They're all singing, all dancing, incredible kits. And he's got a great business and a great story. Craig, introduce yourself to everyone at home and let them know what your business is. Hi, I'm Craig from Scumfop Hot Tubs, or Leaky Hot Tubs. We own both of the companies and we sell hot tubs. We also rent them, but we sell them as well. People at home thinking, all oh, right, he just sells hot tubs. What's the big deal? You don't just sell a few hot tubs. No. We sell thousands a year. Thousands and thousands a year. And you sell them to celebrities and to pretty much everyone. Literally, we sell them to everyone, yeah. But you said over COVID is when it... When COVID happened, they was giving out, I think it was like £10,000. That actually is what actually really helped us. We went from doing, like I say, £50,000, £60,000 to the first year we handed our accounts in was five, about £5 million. For a hot tub business. 2021 20, to 2022 was nearly 7.9 million. And obviously these are, these are online, so that's, that's why. You... Yeah, they're all online, yeah. So these numbers are, have got, gone up. And, and again, like I say, it was all from that start. I've been with Laura for about 10 years now. And Laura's dad, he said to me, when he first met me, I had, what van did I have? It was like a little sooty van. It was, and, and I always said to him, I said, I'm gonna have a Lamborghini. And he actually said to me, he says, you know, he said, I believe you're gonna get a Lamborghini. Just because of the way, every, every time I'm always saying, oh, I wanna do this, I wanna do that. Yeah, don't get me wrong, COVID helped this time. The only thing that was stopping me was funds, really. Which is most people's yeah. things. Yeah, you know, I know I've got a Lamborghini now, but we wasn't one for going out just blowing money on, you know, wasting it on rubbish, you yeah. know. The government gave us that money to help the company, you know, and that's what we did with it. So we nearly had a bit of a problem yesterday. Let me just break this down to you. He had an outstanding balance, which was around 30 odd grand. He'd already sent me a deposit previously. So he already had my bank details and he was due to send the 30 odd thousand pounds. And what did you do? It was Laura. Was it Laura? She's, she's wow. She's, she's, I'm, I'm good with tech stuff, but you know, I let Laura deal with all that. Yeah, she's yeah. very meticulous. She said, are these the correct bank details because they've changed from the original? So she noticed your bank details had changed. I would never have noticed that. And that's what Laura notices. And she said, the bank details have changed. I don't know how she noticed. Because for me, she just the type send the money. But. Yeah, you were like these bank deals. I'm like they're not my bank deals. I'm like no, no, pay the other invoice. And when we check back, we don't know whose bank deals they were. Really? Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. Uh, did you did you actually know? You didn't know that? No, they weren't nothing to do with me. But this happened with Daniel Ashfield. You know Ashfield. Someone emailed his PA and asked him to send thirty thousand pounds. She thought it was from him, and they changed one of the letters in the email address. Yeah, yeah. So she thought it was coming from the boss. And when she tried to do the, the payment, the bank was saying something's wrong. She's like, listen, my boss has told me to do it. And they're like, no, 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 it's wrong. She's like, no, my boss has told me to yeah. send the payment. It was um, fraud. Wow. So if you'd sent that payment, yeah, that wouldn't yeah, have come yeah. to me. <laughs> so you saved him at 30 grand thing, as that's well. That's what she does. She, she, she deals with the day to day of everything. So, you know, she's very on the ball. And, and that's why I thought, do you know what? It's, it's, it's nice to, to say thank you. Do you know what I mean? And give back. Right. So for the first time, let's reveal Craig's freshly wrapped, body kitted, insane Lamborghini Urus. You ready? I'm so excited to see it. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my. It's amazing. <laughs> wow. So obviously it's got the full wrap, top carbon spoiler, the rear diffuser. It's got the, the new 24 inch wheels, sports exhaust, wherever you look, at this car, it's just it just bangs. It's how it should have come out of the factory. You're it's not the, you're not the first the person to say that. I told you it looked good in grey. No, I don't. <laughs> she says she's driving it home. Are you, you going to drive this one home? Yeah. Are you really? I'm going to take that one back. <laughs> you can have the Q3. <laughs> you can take the Q3. Are you really going to drive this back? Listen, she's got a baby. She can, she can pull weight. <laughs> we, need, we need the extra comfort. That's it. But Craig, what I'm going to do is let me give you the key because I'm going to need to move that. I need to get my next customers ready. So let me just one second. Where's this one? Take a look at this. In the dark shots. In the dark shots. 
Hold on, whose plate's that? Whose plate's that? Who, whose plate's that? Whose plate's that? <laughs> is, that your, is that yours? Is that yours, Laura? Is that yours? Hold on a minute. No, you haven't. Hold on a minute. So Laura Baby Car. No, you haven't. No, no, we no. Have we managed to do it? I'll let you hold do this. Do not do this. I'll let you hold that. Do Laura. not do this to me. <laughs> do not do this. We don't care about the aurus, Laura. <laughs> That's yours. I think you're going home in that, Laura. No way. Am I actually? What a man. What a man. You Listen, what a, it's all down to him. What a man. <laughs> so that is your brand new box fresh Defender 110 with every possible extra, including, I'll be honest with you, usually we put 22 inch wheels and we put 23s on a Defender, which we don't do. Yeah, you can drive that one off, okay. <laughs> Like Laura's the boss, okay? Laura, no, actually, Laura's she is the we'll boss. We'll talk about yeah. Laura in a minute. She keeps me uh, on a straight path. Here you go. Thank you. Oh my God, it's amazing. I love these. Appreciate <laughs> I was surprised I could keep it from Laura, but like I said, she works so hard. I just wanted to make sure that she had something. I mean, I'm getting my car wrapped, you know, I'm getting it forged carbon, the wheels, and I'm sat there thinking, you know, She's a big part of the company. She makes sure the day-to-day -day maintenance, the staff, the so wages. So she's not just your partner, she's part of the company, yeah? If Laura weren't in the company, the company would have issues, you know, because, yeah. because it's one of these things, she's all around it, because she started off early on doing every single thing and built up, and then we've obviously got staff and more and more staff, but she's still very much grounded in, in the infrastructure of it all. That's sweet, that's sweet. <laughs> oh my God, I feel like I'm gonna cry. <laughs> so I've got two boys. Same. So I've got two boys, I've got a little girl. I, mean, I take my little boy boxing and jiu-jitsu and it's because I grew up with some of you know, that stuff as well. But I, um, having a little girl, I feel a bit helpless. I don't know what to do. From experience, from having two boys, 16 and 12, and having my daughter who's just over two now, yeah. it's different. She's the yeah. funniest little girl and oh, she's, she's amazing, she melts my heart, so. That's the thing, I think, uh, that's the only, I'm looking forward to it. I am looking forward to it. Final question, message to the world. Get rich or die trying. Woo!